AMZ currently trading at $3.33, up 5.22% on the day. This momentum is looking beautiful. We called the perfect bottom on April 15th, ended up bottoming April 16th very early in the morning, wicked down, and ever since has been scaling up. A couple things that I wanted to point out. AMC, we said yesterday was going to enter some sort of accumulation sideways, maybe slightly downtrendish trading for about a week or two before coming up to this zone between $4 and $4.35 around late May. Okay, so we do still have a ton of time for that to play out. We have about an entire month. But one thing I want to note, one thing I want to point out is in order to hold this momentum that we're seeing right now, AMC, I would preferably like to see a weekly candle close above this level at $3.20. As of right now, AMC was up about 8% and then got hammered back down and now it's up 6%. Okay, so shorts are fighting this and we're going to point that out with the numbers in one second. But again, watch for a weekly candle close above $3.20, which is this resistance which is now going to become support that AMC tested wicked above and then eventually broke above and today you're going to see a potential daily candle close above this level which would mean AMC has a good shot at pushing up to $3.65. What is going on guys Lottery Socks here welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you're new if you aren't a part of the family, we are on this journey to financial freedom together. We started three years ago. We have been covering AMC on the daily as well as the overall market, Tesla, crypto, short squeeze plays, and just stocks in general. So without further ado, guys, hit the like button, have post notifications on, and join the family. Let's get to 20,000 of us. AMC is sitting at 21.39% short interest on Ortex with still over 56 million shares shorted, which is extremely high, 3.73 days to cover. Another thing to note, AMC hasn't been on the hard to borrow list since a while, since APE, right? Estimated borrow fee is at 4.79% this morning, and then it ended up jumping immediately after to 6.23%. So again, you want to see these numbers continue to rise. It means it's going to be harder to borrow the stock. The short interest is also rising and momentum is building, which is exactly the setup, the data that we want to see for AMC to hold its momentum. Options chain, AMC 19,000 calls compared to 8,000 puts expiring in the money with 53,000 calls expiring out of the money compared to 26,000 puts. So we are winning on the options chain by more than double. Slight game ramp to the upside, but again, a lot of retail doesn't actually exercise these contracts, but it's more than retail that are in this. So potentially we may see some gamma for the rest of the week to hold up, which will carry momentum into next week. Short exempt volume, 340,000 for April 19th. And then the 17th, almost 400,000. And the 16th, 400,000 as well. So these short exempts are extremely high. They're not trying to let this thing go, but look at what the algorithm is doing. The algorithm right here in this setup wants to push AMZ higher. Now I wanna give you one warning. The warning is earnings. Earnings is coming up very early May, May 8th. And Adam Aaron has said time and time again, this isn't gonna be the best, right? Q1 box office sales were pretty much awful. And after that, for the rest of the year, it should get better and better and then all of 2025. So this is the one warning that we have for you is May 8th earnings, which means maybe AMC holds this momentum and then gets the accumulation slash like sell off when the earnings hits when that negative catalyst hits it's if it's a negative catalyst right maybe Adam Aaron announces something and it's not and the momentum carries over Either way, this is what we're watching right now. AMC is looking pretty decent. GameStop coming back down wicked to test this descending trend line, this descending support, which exactly we said this is a buying opportunity for GameStop. I will potentially be entering calls on GameStop, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And if you want to know my trades as soon as I take them, if I do take this trade, I drop it right in Discord the second that I take it. Overall, I expect GameStop to get a bounce here and follow AMC coming up to around 1150 to 1190. GameStop losing on the option chain, 2,000 calls compared to 4,000 puts expiring in the money, but more people betting bullish out of the money as well. Short exempts slightly low, but they are higher from the previous two days, so keep that in mind as well. Tesla cut prices in a number of its major markets, including China and Germany, following price cuts in the United States as it grapples with falling sales and intensifying price war for electric vehicles, especially against Chinese EVs. The price cuts come after Tesla, led by its billionaire. CEO Elon Musk reported this month that its global vehicle deliveries in the first quarter fell for the first time in nearly four years. Now, Tesla just got smacked on earnings. They cut prices once again. Now it's trading at 142.50, breaking under crucial levels. Where did we hit? 
what support is holding up Tesla as of right now? Tesla hit a major, major level. And it's this white line right here that you see on the screen, which is where Tesla is hitting. Take a look at how many times Tesla touches this line and the similarities, right? Came up right here, gapped above, came back down, tried holding, ended up breaking below, coming back above, gapped down, tested it as resistance a couple times, came back down once again, tried to hold for a second and flashing down. When Tesla comes to this line, whether it's resistance and or support, the direction that it's going, it has a lot of momentum to smash through and continue in that direction. This is something that I wanted to point out. We come up, we smash through. Okay, we come down, we smash through, we come up, same thing. What does this mean for Tesla going forward? If Tesla were to have the same exact setup as back here, right? And keep in mind, this setup has the same spot on the RSI where we got this little double top here around the mid range before coming over to the oversold territory, which is exactly where Tesla could potentially go right right now, right here, getting flushed down. If the same thing happens, you're going to see Tesla come down to about $68.85. If Tesla comes down to $68.85, this is also going to fill two gaps. There's a gap fill around $82.25 and also $75.50. And this is also going to land on support right back here which was once resistance before Tesla entered a brand new trading range after a long, long period of time. So these are crucial levels that we want to pay attention to if momentum continues to build to the downside, if the Fed decides that they want to keep rates high, etc, etc, Tesla is going to suffer. And that is where we stand with Tesla. SPY 498.86 holding a major support level right here at 497. RSI is extremely oversold. We already got a 6% correction. However, as the SPY was selling off, momentum was increasing, which means that bears are strong. Selling pressure is strong. If the SPY continues to sell off, I'm watching 480.65. This is the level that I'm watching on the SPY. Anywhere between 488 and 464 is where I think the SPY will bottom. Now, before we get into crypto, guys, press the second link in the description, join the Discord, stop sleeping on it, start the week, come in here, I post my trades as soon as I take them. We talk stocks and crypto all day long, and we have options, trading alerts, we post our gains, post our losses, best place to go, best vibes, basically a big group chat with people who want to become financially free like yourselves. Also the top link up to 10 free fractional shares of the Magnificent 7, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, Amazon, Google, Meta, Nvidia, all for doing nothing. Use my link, open a Moomoo account, free broker, and make a deposit. You can even deposit a dollar to start earning benefits. Again, both of those links are pinned in the top of comments and linked in the description for you guys. Now crypto, Bitcoin came back up testing 66,000, which is a resistance level. Again, we broke down below the wedge and is scaling back up just like we do every single halving. Couple things that I wanted to note, Bitcoin bounced perfectly right around 59,000 to 61,000 and held that level. This is extremely important. The reason is it's extremely important is because Bitcoin on the monthly time frame got that perfect wick bounce around 61,000, like we just said, 61,500 to 59,000. What has to happen over the next seven, eight days, right? The rest of April is Bitcoin has to stay above 62,000. That's it. Bitcoin has to stay above 61,500 to 62,000. If we get a candle close on the monthly above that level, Bitcoin is confirmed, in my opinion, to go higher and to at least reach 78 to 80K. That is what we have for Bitcoin. And that is just something that I wanted to point out. Alts are continuing to scale higher. Bonk scaled back up, tested resistance right here. And now it is holding support. Shiba broke below the flag, came back up just like Bitcoin and then tested this getting rejected. Hopefully SHIB holds this level right here, right around 0 0.0000025 cents, right? Overall, guys, that is what I got before today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to hit the like button on your way out. Check the links. I love you all. I'll have another video up tonight. Lottery socks out.